This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.6. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problems on page 6. Let's find the current I2 in supplemental problem 3.4 using superposition. I2 was the mesh current in this mesh, and we'll call that I2 due to the first source, second source, third source, and fourth source. Now we had two voltage sources and a current source. I'm going to set the voltage source is equal to zero by shorting them and the 5 amp current source that was here, I'll set it equal to zero by making it an open circuit. So the current I2 is flowing in here, and again, this is I2 to the first source, and the drop across this resistor is gonna be two ohms times I2 prime. But that same current now is flowing in this one ohm resistor, so I'll get one times I2 prime. So I go around the loop here, the rise is equal to the drop, I have no rise, and the drop is I2 prime times one, plus two times I2 prime. But that has to equal zero, that means that I2 prime is zero. One of the advantages of superposition is that by setting sources equal to zero, some parameters do become zero. Even though this is more steps, sometimes the calculations are fairly simple. Now let's set the other current source equal to zero. That was the one amp one. I'll make that an open circuit. And my two voltages, the 10 and six volt, I'm still gonna set those equal to zero, but now leave the five amp current source in. This is the current that we called I2 in our supplemental problem 3.4. This is what we do the second source. What I've got here are two resistances in parallel, in parallel with a current source. I can use current divider to find the current I2. Let's use the resistive form of that. So if you want the current in the two ohm resistor, take the other resistor, divide by the sum of the two times the current. It's gonna be in the same direction. Here we got the current entering, then leaving in, in these two resistances. And that turned out to be 1.66 amps. Let's consider the next source, which is our 10 volt source, and set the two current sources equal to zero and the six volt source equal to zero. That would be a short and two opens. And again, I wanna find the current in this resistance. That was our mesh current, but this will be due to our third source. Okay, so what I've got here is 10 volts across three ohms and really across seven ohms. So the current that's gonna flow in this direction is simply gonna be the 10 volts divided by the three ohms. And that's 3.333 amps. And then lastly, let's consider the last source this is our six volt source, plus sign was, was at the bottom. And then we're gonna open the two current sources and short the 10 volt source. Current in this direction would be six volts divided by three ohms, but I want the current in the other direction, so I'll change the sign of that six volts and give me a minus two amps. And then I can add up the results. So I2 due to the first source was zero, due to the second source was 1.66 amps, due to the third source was 3.333, and the last source minus two. And that turns out to be three amps. And that was what we found in supplemental problem 3.4. And this is supplemental problem 3.6.